COVID has been crushing small businesses all around the world. Back here in Ontario, we're back to stage two. That means uh, restaurants and gyms are no longer open. And pretty much what the government is doing is saying, hey, too bad, too bad, you can't provide for your family. Too bad, you can't put food on the table. Here's a little bit of uh, government handout money that you can barely buy any bread and you definitely can't pay your mortgage or rent with that. So it's fucking crazy if you ask me, absolutely crazy. We're living in very interesting times and hopefully this is a wake up call for many, 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 many people that no matter where you vote, whether it's left, right, up, down, upside down, whatever, these politicians aren't here to make your life better. They're there to make themselves better and their inner circle. That's been like that from fucking day one. But what I do want to talk about is the opportunity people have right now to maybe finally break free of this slave mindset that we have that people are dependent on only one stream of income. You hear it all the time. You hear it in these self-help books. You hear it in these financial books. Oh, you got to do this. You got to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we get the fucking general idea. And everybody has their own pitch. Get into real estate. Get into this. Get into that. And it really does depend on where you are in your life. Depends on if you have a mortgage. Depends on if you have kids. There's so many different co-variables where it depends on what you can do. And so what I like to view it as like, first, I love to see uh, people take an audit of their personal life. At the end of the day, we are all living in different geographical areas around the world. We're different ages, we're different circumstances in life, we have different strengths, we have different weaknesses, right? We have all these different shades of color that represents you and I. And so there's not one black and white answer to say, hey, Amir tells me to do this. No, there's a template that you can generally follow. But the general notion is like, and why I bring up COVID is like, if your number one stream of income to support your family was from a small gym, or your number one stream of income to support your family was from this small restaurant you have, COVID came, slapped you in the, well, I wouldn't say COVID. I would say the government came, slapped you in the face and said, you are no longer able to provide for you and your family. So what do you do? Well, this is a do or die situation where you're forced to figure out different ways of bringing in income. And so what I like to do is I like to first scan and audit your circumstances that you're in. Where do you live? What's the industry there? Uh, what is the type of demographics there? What is your personal situation? Do you, have, do, you have, do you have a mortgage? Do you have kids? Do you have no kids? Are you in a relationship? All these things matter on the decisions that you're going to make. Next thing you got to figure out is, hey, what kind of skills do I have? You hear all these people saying, well, get into real estate. Do I have any experience? Is my city good for real estate? Is my credit good? Uh, is there a good arbitrage opportunity for real estate? What type of real estate am I doing? Am I doing long-term? No, I don't need long-term, I need cash flow. Okay, well then I gotta get into duplex and triplex and quadplex. Oh shit, I realize, I'll give you my example. In Toronto, oh shit, I realize quadplexes are two, three million dollars. Where the fuck am I getting a deposit of 400,000? You know, so all these things come up in the conversation trying to figure out which direction you're gonna go. And so, basically what I like to do is I like to take a very simple checklist and be like, okay, these are the facts, like poker hands, right? These are the cards that I'm dealt with right now. This is what I have. What can I, what can I use in my cards right now to leverage my position? And so I, I've made multiple videos of this in the past and it's gonna keep on expediating and specifically because of COVID, I always keep on telling people, start focusing small things online. Um, you see a lot of restaurants are trying to kind of pivot towards Uber Eats, more online orders. Even like gym owners are trying to do more like virtual training. Obviously, it's not 100% supplemental. It's not going to be 100% supplemental. But the general idea is more online. People are going to be working more remote. Even after this whole COVID scare is over, people from a zeitgeist perspective will be kind of scared to go back into physical locations. It is what it is. And so... The things that I've, and I'm only going to speak for myself and the things that I focus on in the past for multiple streams of income that, at least for my strengths, my experiences, I remember I'm not coming from any educational background. I never finished high school. I never went to university. I've had many disabilities in my life. And so I've learned everything from the street of hard knocks, you know, ups and downs, smiles and fucking frowns. And so the things that I've currently am doing and have done that have helped me create multiple streams of income, it's not overnight either. I'm not selling you this fucking hoo-ha your unicorn story. <laughs> if you do this, you're gonna snap your fingers and things will be okay. No, you're gonna try, you're gonna fail. And that's the fucking reality. But guess what? The shit that you learn along the way is great. And another thing, many of the things I'm gonna mention is free pretty much. Maybe you gotta pay a few bucks to buy some 
online stuff or maybe buy some products, but in general, in general, it's it, it's free. And so the first thing, and I've, I've made multiple videos is, is affiliate marketing. Like I can't stress enough about affiliate marketing. And so what's a general idea of affiliate marketing? In essence, this is what affiliate marketing is. Affiliate marketing is you're a commission salesman. That's it. You're selling a product or a service uh, that somebody else has created and you're driving traffic towards that website and anybody that buys that product or service, you make a commission sale off of it. You don't have to worry about the um, product itself. You don't have to worry about customer support. You don't have to worry about returns. You don't have to worry about anything. The only thing that you have to worry about is uh, sending traffic there. That's it. That's the only thing you got to worry about. And so that's that's affiliate marketing in a nutshell. And you're not gonna you know, all these people trying to sell you these courses on affiliate marketing, like they're crazy, man. Like you don't need any fucking course for affiliate marketing. I just saved you thousands of dollars. That's it in a nutshell. You're finding a product or service that you like. And my advice for people is you use a lot of products and services right now. Some online products and services, some offline products and services. I fucking guarantee you, you know, I'll put thousand dollars on it. I guarantee you. 90% of those products and service have some type of affiliate slash referral system. Guarantee it. And so if you're using a if you're using a product or a service that you like that you can vouch for, what better way than tell other people about it? I guarantee you've probably been telling other people about products and services so you don't make any commission off of it. And so that's the first kind of recommendation I have is I get into affiliate marketing. I started off in ClickBank long, 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 long time ago in the health niche. So uh, digital products, right? Uh, uh, keto workshops, uh, you know, paleo this, like all these different types of digital format products and services I got into eons ago on ClickBank, on JBZoo, and I failed a shit ton of fucking times, but through every process, of me doing that, I've learned new things. Like, oh, cool. You know, these are types of offers that work uh, in every cyclical day. Like, they work better during Christmas right now coming on. And these are better traffic sources. So I had better, I had a better traffic from doing guest posting. I had better traffic from doing YouTube. I had better traffic from just buying ads on Facebook, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But the very fact of it costs you nothing to start. This is the beautiful thing about this extra cash flow. It costs you nothing to nothing to start and there's massive upside. So that's the first thing, is affiliate marketing. Like like I said, it's not gonna happen overnight. Second thing is like, let's say you are a small business owner within the restaurant space and within the uh, gym space or anything in general. You have a lot of opportunity now to take the knowledge and experience that you built up in there and package it up in a consulting uh, way. There's many, many, many people all around the world who are looking for expertise. I mean, they they want it. And if you've been in an industry for five plus years or 10 plus years, and you've gone through the fucking ringer, and you know every nook and cranny about it, and you know the ups and downs, you know exactly, like, like we can fucking blindfold you and you can draw the blueprint for this industry and for this business. A lot of people around the world, and this is a great thing about consulting, it's not geo-dependent, it's, uh, it's all around the world. A lot of people are looking for your services, uh, and you can. And a great way to start about these services, like you can literally create a simple free Wix page or Square page. You don't even have to get into WordPress, right? You don't need any coding. You can make a one-off page. Uh, you can make a simple uh, LinkedIn profile page. You then go out to your network, and then you start telling people. Like a lot of people are afraid to ask, right? People just don't know. Like for example, let's say you decide to do the consulting services. Who fuck? Who the fuck knows you're doing it? right nobody knows you're doing it so you have to go out there and start putting yourself out there and telling people like hey i started this you know i'm going to be offering consulting services and uh, for x y and z and if you guys know anybody hit me up like it, it's like literally simple as that and so most people they they had the notion you know that movie uh field of dreams right if you build it they will come oh no they don't come they don't come at all you literally literally have to fucking have a megaphone and be screaming at the top of your lungs and saying, yo, I exist, man, I exist. And so that's the second thing, consulting. I still do it today. I still do affiliate marketing today. I, I'm consulting, I do a lot of it today. You know, I love it. That's one of the things, I, I have all the things in it. In fact, I would do it for free even. I fucking love helping people. 
uh, especially in the verticals that you know, right? So the second thing is consulting, right? So what did we have? We had uh, commission work, affiliate marketing, we have consulting. So what's the third thing you can do? So uh, there's another, the, the third thing you can do depending on your industry and depending on your niche is you can do something called performance-based uh, consulting. So it's not general consulting, and this is actually primed towards more people who have maybe a marketing background or people who have a sales background. Sales is always going to be in the work. So performance-based sales or performance-based marketing is like you almost have no type of consultation fee and everything on the back end for the upside. I used to use, I, we used to do this for products like physical supplement products. So depending on the margins and depending on the profits of a, of a product. Maybe the product does have a really, really good profit margin of 50%, 60% for some of these supplements, fucking great, but they're not really good at creating funnels, not really good at sales. You come around as a performance-based salesperson or marketer, like, hey, listen, I can definitely help you optimize this. You already have something great going on. You have customers already. You don't have to pay me my full rate. You can pay me like very minimal, like whatever it is, and I'm gonna take a percentage off of the total revenue that comes in that I increase. So let's say their revenue on their business is, I don't know, like $200,000 a year and you come in, so that's a base, they start off at $200,000 a year. You come in like, I can bring you to a million dollars. Then you take a percentage off the arbitrage from the 200 to a million, which is 800. So depending on the percentage, and percent, percentage can be anything. I, I've seen performance bases as high as 50. They'll take 50% of anything that comes in from a low as 5%, depending on the total volume of revenue that comes in. So that's the third thing. That one is not necessarily for everybody, but who knows? Maybe you are one of those people that have these set of skills that you just don't know it. I know a lot of marketers and big companies right now that all they do is they rely on that one stream of income. The company pays them, you know, if you're a really, really good growth hacker or a really good marketer, senior marketer, you're probably making, you know, starting at 90K to 120K in North America for a decent sized company. Obviously, they're, you know, Nassim Tlaib talks about it. The two greatest addictions is heroin and a salary. And But you know what? In, in tough times like COVID, you might get fired because uh, if you're not performance-based and you're just salary, the company's like, well, fuck, you know, bottom line matters. But you have all this knowledge and, and, and expertise. You can package that shit up and become a performance-based marketer uh, overnight. So that's, that's three, three things that pretty much doesn't cost you anything that you can start. Then we can get into the fun, funky things where it becomes arbitrage sales, right? So Gary Vee talks about this a lot. I used to do this back in the day. I had a business for importing and exporting, uh, believe it or not, uh, gym equipment a long time ago, um, all forms. And it was like very uh, esoteric gym equipment. So I was doing dumbbell, no, I was doing kettlebells, uh, uh, Indian clubs, ropes, like back in the day when CrossFit was just starting, I was doing importing of this stuff from China. And the arbitrage was fucking great back, and not now, it's saturated as fuck. But um, what Gary Vee talks about is, you know, he's been going around in garage sales, doesn't, doesn't mean you need to do the garage sales, but look around in your area. Is there places where you can get certain items, fix them up a little bit, and then resell them? I've said this before, I have a friend's, I have a friend's mom who retired, she was a teacher, and she loved working with her hands and woodworking. So what she did is she went around, it's a little bit different from COVID, but still I see garage sales happening with masks outside. Uh, what she did is she made ads on Kijiji and she went to uh, garage sales around Toronto and basically she got really old furniture and she had a nice shop in her, like a standard garage in, in her backyard. And basically what she did is she fixed them up. She made them like really, really nice. And then she went on Etsy and she sold it and made a profit, right? So basically what she did is she took, she bought a product for X, refurbished it, right? Then sold it for Y and took the arbitrage. So that's another thing. And this one costs you a little bit of money. It might even cost you money. People might be giving out free shit that you can fucking fix, man. But at the end of the day, it's another stream of income. And I could keep on going on and on and on. You know, these are just four things on top of my head. But the bottom line, guys, is like, hopefully COVID has snapped people out of this like idea of like relying on one paycheck. Like if you look at historically speaking, we never relied on one paycheck. This whole idea of the corporate, uh, corporate living or relying on this one salary, it is fucking new. Like if you go back a hundred years, families were self-sufficient. Like my, fa my, my parents' generation, they lived on the farm and everybody was self-sufficient. My dad had a woodworking shop. 
My mom was a uh, accountant slash uh, whole family was farm life. So goats, uh, cows, yada, yada, yada. Everybody was training with everybody. Everybody had multiple streams of income. You know, it wasn't just like I did one thing. Everybody did multiple fucking things because there wasn't no multi-corporation. They didn't rely on the government. They didn't, it wasn't there. They had to do multiple fucking things uh, to survive. And so this whole idea of us plugging away nine to five for the rest of your life on this one fucking salary that you're addicted to and you're addicted to the benefits that's death man that's fucking crazy talk and so covid has uh, let me let's rewind the government <laughs> so maybe it is a silver lining all this stuff the government has forced people now to rethink the whole idea of hey it, like this is this is crazy man i can't if and if they if they're doing it now they're gonna continue doing it you know pandora's box is open so think about that right the government has opened Pandora's box of stopping your, and this has been going throughout the history of human civilization. One of the many reasons why my parents left former Yugoslavia was it was a communist regime and they pretty much stopped you from being an entrepreneur. Right? They took my grandfather's stores. We used to have stores, uh, kind of like 7-Eleven uh, uh, stores we had back in the day. And so they took them. They came here to build their own businesses. And so this is, uh, this is a pattern that happens. And I'll leave it at that, guys. You know, get into multiple streams of income and uh, start building up new skills. And, uh, you know, things will get better, man. Honestly, things will get better. Peace out.